Welcome, everybody. Um, this is our community development block grant funding meeting. And um, first item we're going to take care of is the minutes. We have, actually have minutes. So I'm not sure if anybody has seen them. All right, anybody who's seen them, I'll accept a motion to approve them. So moved. Second. And the rest of you can trust that they're just fine. We're gonna have to. With the exception of three typos over the years, they've always been. The last 10 years, there have been three typos. All right, um, having accepted that, all those in favor of approving the minutes, say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, um, we're going to get right into uh, the meat of our our meeting and um, I'd like to know if anybody would like a, to make a motion to begin the process. I will take a look at my, try to watch this. Okay. I'll do the easiest one. I move that we allocate the administration and planning allocation of $300,000. All right. All right. Hearing no discussion, all those in favor say aye. 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 All right. There. Moving right along. Can I just comment here? Yes. Thank you. Everybody knows, right? I just want to. I, I feel better saying it that there's not enough money. So <laughs> I, I, I just I I feel better having the words come out. Um, we saw great presentations. We have great organizations in front of us. Every single one deserves the money that they've asked for, and. Um, one of my colleagues here said, uh, "It's uh, some nights it's hard to leave this meeting without being close to tears. So um, it's hard. It's and and I apologize for the fact that we can't do what uh, what I wish we were able to we would be able to do. So with that said, we'll start trying to figure out how to make some sense of it. Well, if, could we could we at least? I'm I'm not sure what information um, the public has received." But um, the estimated amount to be cut is a million six hundred seventy-six thousand four hundred sixty-nine dollars, based on um, the uh, requests that we've received. So you can imagine that's a problem. Right. So, um, yeah, and and the public services. So, um, we're limited to fifteen. Yeah, percent. percentage-wise, that's yeah. even worse. That's. Um, the request is 524,000 and the cap is 236. So which is ridiculous. Way less than half. It's, it's not our fault. And it's less than what we were able to allocate for last fiscal year. Yes. So right. even if we gave everyone the same as they had last year, we'd still have to cut everybody. All right. So um, no more uh, disclaimer. No more editorializing. Yeah, let's, okay. let's just get to the reality. Wait, Alderman Rainey? Yes. Okay. Uh, thank you. I, I would just like to say um, this is full disclo disclosure. This is my first year on the committee. Um, I've always hoped I could serve, uh, but before this, all of the aldermen who served were had target areas uh, as part of their ward. So when there was an opening, I was very, very happy to serve. And now I think by the end of this evening, I will be sorry that I volunteered. But um, <laughs> no, I won't. do want to explain that my, I, this is my first time through this. So please, everyone, be patient and uh, understand that I was doing my best on this. Yes. All right. Thank you. thank you. You always do your best. Thank you. Um, and that's why there are some blanks, because I didn't well, understand the whole thing. But you're going to fill them in as we go along. Don't worry. All right. Don't okay. worry. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm looking for lights. Alderman Wynn, you already, you did yours, okay. Um, I'm going, okay, Alderman, I mean, um, Ms. Sankey. Um, I would like to move my suggestions for the public services allocations, if I may. We're ready. For family focus, $15,000. Okay. Youth and Opportunity United STEAM, zero. Open Studio Project, zero. Evanston Scholars, 5,000. Youth Job Center, 15,000. Moran Center, 20,000. Impact Behavioral Health Employment Services, 15,000. Shore Community Services Vocational Training, 7,448. 
um, Jocelyn Center Psychiatric Services, zero. Turning Point Open Access Program, zero. Jewish Family Services Financial Council and Case Management, zero. North Shore Senior Center Grandparents Raising Grandparents, 9,000. Meals at Home, 14,000. Interfaith Action Emergency Overnight Shelter, 11,000. YWCA, North, Evanston North Shore Domestic Violence Services, 25,000. Connections for the Homeless, Supportive Housing, 15,000. Uh, City of Evanston Target Area Graffiti Removal, 40,000. City of Evanston Summer Youth Employment Program, 20,000. And City of Evanston Certi Certificate of Rehab and Record Sealing, 25,000. So and that subtotal should be 236,448. Which is the, the maximum we can allocate, okay? Um, I'm, I'm not looking for a second. I'm looking for friendly amendments or a second. So let's do this. I'm gonna, I'm, I, I don't agree with it, but I'm going to second it so we can talk about it because that's okay. the process. So I'll second it mm -hmm. and um, pretend my light's on. Since I Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Um, a couple of observations, I guess, just in in, talk, in looking at some of the organizations. Um, some organizations do a better job with fundraising, um, and that has an impact on our perception. So um, it might not be fair, but I'll just be blunt and honest about that. Um, with regard to Evanston Scholars, that's one that, um, as far as the amount of money that gets leveraged with what goes into the program. In other words, in terms of the amount of scholarship money that is realized by the students, it's really hard to do any better than that. I mean, you know, you're getting these kids into college, it's first generation typically uh, students. And I, so I have a, a strong inclination to go notably higher than the, the motion, $5,000. Um, you know, I, I thought, uh, I'd like to do money for the YRU program, but again, it's so short, and I think giving it a small amount probably doesn't get them uh, very far into the particular program. And I don't know, I recognize that um, you know, the work that goes into the compliance is, is significant, so I don't know that uh, a small amount for that makes a lot of sense. So anyway, but I guess point being, I'd, I'd like to really raise up that uh, Evanston Scholars amount and um, I don't know. Somebody else say something. So I, because uh, let me let me just yeah. let me just give you a little bit of guidance. If we're going, um, usually when we get to public service, it's more um, we're more on on target with each other. Mm. So it looks like this time we're not going to be perhaps. So right. if you're going to if you're going to um, um, Debate an item. Could you first say what what the previous person recommended, and then say what you would recommend, and then argue your point? Okay, so, so that we can we can. That's a good. Way. That's a really good way to do it. We can I, mark up our sheet. So uh, Ms. Sanki had moved for. I'll just stick with Evanston Scholars for the moment. So she had moved five thousand dollars. I've already argued the point, and I would request fifteen thousand dollars for the Evanston Scholar Program. I realize we're, at some point we're going to have to take that out of the column, but somewhere else. But uh, that's what I'd like to do for Evanston Scholars. Who, who is sitting in suffrage? Oh, that was Michael. me. Okay, I, I was Michael. actually going to uh, ask to go up to 20,000 for Evanston Scholars, but we can go to 15. That's fine. Okay, we'll leave it at 15 for now. Alderman Braithwaite. I, I guess one of the questions that I have, Alderman Rainey, is if you're going to, and this may get us too deep into the weeds, but if you're going to go up on something, I'd be very curious to know what are you going to take it, where are you going to take it from? Well, we're, we'll get to that. So I mean, you just, we're just going to keep going back and forth? On well, that. no, yeah. no, 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 no. Let's just, let's just see where we're going, okay? Okay. Okay. So do you have um, any suggestions? Um, I mean, you did speak about why are you, right? 
I had money in my column for YOU, but um, it's a small amount, so uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to debate that point yet. One thing I was wondering about, um, it, Mr. Brown, I appreciate the, the presentation we had on the rehab program, um, and it's an excellent and a very important program. And I'm worried that in the general fund budget, we're not going to be able to find the money for it. So that's that's one of my big fears. So I, I had an interest in funding that, but it's it's one of the bigger ticket items. So I'd just be curious to hear what the rest of the group feels about on that one. On the certificate of rehab and right. record sealing, right? Um, I I gave it uh, close to thirty thousand. I did as well. Yeah, I gave it twenty nine nine forty eight. Support that program. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, right, so my my thought on that is that. Um, in terms of uh, not as many groups are not it's hard to find a group that's doing that and the difference that that makes in terms of someone's ability to get employment or um, or get housing is the difference it, it's night and day so to me the more of those that we can do the more we allow someone to really move on in their life yeah, I would I'd support that. I would support the 30000 for that. And then, um, and then, of course, I have to find money somewhere else. So the youth employment program, it's been very, um, it's, it's been outstanding. Uh, the partnerships with YOU are, not YOU, with Youth Job, youth job Center, I apologize, uh, have been uh, fantastic. So as far as the city aspect of that, I would. I, I was thinking of giving a significantly less a lesser amount for that one. More in the range of like ten thousand. Okay, so you're talking about cutting down the summer youth, the city one, yeah. Which is line thirty. Line thirty. Right. Where's line thirty? City summer youth employment program, right above the certificate of rehab. What do you want to take out of it? So bring that down to maybe 10. Oh, no. That's going to be hard. No. But that's, you know, this is not the only funding source for that. But it's a big one. Okay. Um, Sean Jones, and then I'd like to read my list. Sean? Mr. Jones. I would agree that the certificate of rehab at 30,000 seems to be about the average for us. If you look across the board, that's about where we are. I also look at Ms. Sankey's list, and top on her list, the biggest recipient is graffiti removal, and where I agree that it's a very important, all these people out here are having direct impact on individual lives, and that's not the case with graffiti removal. I know it's important, I know it's a, a big gang-type activity deterrent. However, when we're talking about this small amount of money, I would really seriously consider chopping that down considerably, down to 20000 to give us more money to spread out amongst these groups. Okay, and I, I had it at 30. And historically, I've been one who's been a proponent of 100% funding on that. But um, in the circumstances, I did have it at a lower amount at 30. So maybe I'd move that we bring that down to 30. Chair Ray, I guess my question is, does that wait, wait, dollar wait, wait, about wait. it's a He's question? He's finishing, okay. and I asked to speak okay. next after Sean. Okay. Okay. Sean. Did you have, did you have a... Yes, my motion is to move graffiti removal to 20. To 20. Okay. To 20. Okay. Let's see. Graffiti removal is... Um, well, that's the thing I want to know if we're going to be voting on it. Because that's I have a specific question as it relates to that motion. So that's twenty. Okay. All right. I'm I'm going to. Would anybody mind if I read my whole list? Huh? May I read my list on public? I want to talk about the graffiti before. Well, we graffiti make. removal to twenty is fine with me. Right. Mind. I'm just my question is, does that forty thousand specifically pay for anything else other than? The one staff person's salary. Forty thousand for what? For Are there any other expenses other than the staff person's salary that goes into graffiti removal? Oh. 
Well, I can support it if because I know we're not going to eliminate the position. We'll just have to fund it through other means. Yeah. He's got all the special like paint removal right. stuff. It's mostly Arts labor. Yeah. Okay, so I can thank you for and, answering. And he question. is everywhere. I yeah, mean, that's there's just, no question. And there, there's. And we have argued for years that our, our policy is to get it down within 24 hours. We do. Mm -hmm. Right. And he takes it off private property, public property. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. this is not a question about yeah. his efficiency. Yeah. It's just, no, no, no. does but, it pay for his salary? That's all I was curious uh, about. Yeah. All right. So just everybody wait. So, Sean, you're taking it down to 20. Okay. All right. So where are we going to get that? The rest of the Okay. I have it 26. Um, yeah. So there's, um, it's down to 20,000. I'm not voting for that. All those in favor of making it 20,000? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? No. Um, I, could I read mine? Just, it, I have, I've um, zeroed it out, so. Um, I have, Family focus at nineteen hundred, at nineteen thousand. Sorry, family focus number. Um, uh, uh, the steam for teens at zero. Um, the let's see, where am I? Open studio. The let, let me just see. This thing is just off a little here. All right, so. Um, Family focus is 19,000. Steam for teens is zeroed out. Uh, family focus, the youth program, I have it zeroed out. Evanston Scholars, um, 15, huh? Open studio. You read family focus again, but I think you meant open studio. Okay, it's open studio. Right, it's the 4,000 one. Evanston Scholars, 15,000. Uh, youth Job Center Youth Employment Program is 21,000. Moran Center, 21,800. Impact Behavioral um, Employment Services, 15,000. Shore Community Services, Jocelyn Center, Turning Point, uh, Turning Point. Jewish Family Services, all zeroed out. North Shore Center, Grandparents Raising Grandchildren, uh, 10,500. 15,000 for Meals at Home. 13,000 for the Emergency Overnight Shelter. 25,000 for um, Connections. City Target oh, Refugees. No, YW. Oh, YW, I'm sorry. Domestic Violence, 25,000. 15,000 for supportive housing, uh, graffiti removal, 26,000, summer youth employment, uh, 10,200, city certificate of rehab, 29,948. Um, so the public services total is 236,448. Would you like us to replace that in here? We're not sure when we're supposed no, to. No, yeah, so uh, Alderman Rainey, I, I agree with your um, suggestion. I think you said 4,000 for open studio. No. What did you say? Zero. I, zero. 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 Oh, I'm looking at your old, uh, no, at the no, old version. No, no, I'm sorry. I changed that. Okay. I gave that uh, okay. to, um, family to Family Focus. Okay. Um, I would still, I, I, I Realize it's not a lot of money, but uh, in just listening to the descriptions of the programs and how they are working with a lot of the other organizations to provide, you know, the actual program services for other groups, I think it's, um, you know, I think it's important to, to make sure that they have enough to cover those things. Um, so I would want to give four or five thousand for that. And I was hoping that they would go to another group and get a fee for services. Right, and I think I, I, I believe that that maybe is a conversation that is going to happen in years going forward, but for this year. But Don, where do you get that then? 
Uh, I had less for family focus. I had fifteen thousand for family focus, or actually, I had less than that. But, but well, if we, that's if we, what I had until I gave them the four thousand, <coughs> hoping okay. that they could do a thing. So could we go back to the fifteen and four for those two? Could you live with that? I, I could live with that. Okay, so I'll move that we go with fifteen thousand for family focus and four thousand for open studio. But, but I would really get. I would like to get. A, I would like to get a commitment from the group that the arts group that just is not. I mean, they're they're not doing well in reporting and they're. Four thousand is very and with complicated. Four thousand dollars well, that doesn't really even cover the the costs of reporting on a grant. And I think, well, I know that they have a new a new director, and I think uh, things are getting. It sounds like things are getting more on track. So hopefully, that's the so. moving forward. That'll that'll wake, work out for them. Okay. Well, we need to put them on notice. I think you did. Yeah. Okay. Someone here from the organization. Mm -hmm. Alderman Wilson, I'm we sorry. did last year give 4,000 as putting them on notice last year, and it did not achieve the desired result. Well, now, maybe yes, it did because they have a new director. director. Well, and, 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 and it's, you know what? But we still have problems with the reporting. But, but the kids got the service, so, you know, the, the reporting, you know, the, the skill of the people doing the reporting might not have been perfect, but the kids got the services. So I would rather... I don't think they're going to drop the ball in the reporting. So, and I think they'll manage to get it through this year. If they if they do, then you know we've had the conversation. I don't think the quality of an agency has to do with the reporting. I, I don't care I agree. at all. I, totally I don't agree. care at all. But it's our burden that we do the reporting. I mean, you know, the people upstairs want. The reporting right. and if the reporting does not get done we lose more than just the funding for that organization potentially we've been able to i i would i would go along with that with one more chance i guess i mean Thank it's you. up to the committee it's not up to me All right, so i move that we do 15 for a family focus and four for open studio second, second. okay um let's Cut the chatter here. All those in favor? <laughs> aye. Get to the point here. All those in favor of that split, say aye. 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 Any opposed? No. One oh. opposed. One opposed or two, two. opposed? Two, two. Raise your hand. Yeah. Opposed. I'm opposed. Okay. Is that I am opposed? Three opposed. Four. No. Oh wait. All right. All those in favor, raise your hand. One, two, three, four, four five. Five. All those opposed. One, two, three, four. Okay. Five to four. Okay. Okay. Can we scroll scroll down and see where we're, we're at with the okay. over under? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you might be able to make it just a little bit smaller, Sarah. I think we might still be able to see it. At the bottom of your screen. You do it at the bottom. Okay. Of the we're going to um, reverse course here. We're going down the row. Way. There you yeah. go. <laughs> mm -hmm. right. We don't have the over under though. Yeah, we're at 225 and change now as our subtotal. Here we go. Okay, so we've got 11,000. 11,000 to put back in. Mm -hmm. So. Is it possible to leave it so we can keep yeah, I was that? Just okay. Get Yeah, that would yeah. be yeah. We, yeah. Don't, we don't need it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to number, let's yeah. go to Evan Scholars. Do we have consensus on Evan Scholars? 15,000. I think we do. I yes. We were 10. <laughs> All those in favor of 15,000 for Evan Scholars, raise your hand. All those opposed? One. I thought we were at 10. I, we were 10. I know your column was 15,000, but Alderman Wilson had moved for 10. Yeah. 
Okay, but I wanted more than that. So. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm willing to uh, obviously vote for Alderman Rainey's 15. I put the digital 15. What did they get last year? 5,200. It's less than half of it. Okay, so Youth Job Center, um, we're taking a chunk out of that summer youth employment program. So I have an inclination to bump that up, maybe another five. Wait, did we decide on the Evanston Scholars? I'm sorry. I think we just did. Yes, right? we just did. The vote was in. Okay, 15. so it's 15? Yeah. Thank you. I, Youth Job Center. Twenty-one thousand. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Anybody have an argument against that? No. Okay, Sean. I, I believe it's kind of unfair to start at the top and move down when we've got just this little bit amount of money to give out here. Uh, we're looking down at the bottom, and I see some things that I believe really need more funding, such as the overnight shelter. Nobody else in Evanston is doing that, and we're actually pr proposing to cut their funding. Whereas Youth Job Center is well established, has a massive budget. Um, what they're asking for would cover their depreciation costs only. They're the only they're the only applicant here who has depreciation even in their budget. This amount we're talking about would be a drop in their bucket. Whereas for some of these smaller organizations. This amount of money would be huge. Okay. Well, I, I particularly agree with Sean on the overnight shelter. I would like to put more money in that column. I'd like to speak to the overnight shelter. Um, the right now, it, the threshold for it is uh, when the outside temperature drops to 15, 15. degrees, mm -hmm. and I know. Um, because some of the overnight shelter happens at my church at St. Paul's Lutheran, or at least por portion of it does. That there's a that we're we're hoping that that the temperature number can go up, and so that um, there could be more nights that the service could be provided. Mm -hmm. So I and it is it is used very actively. So I do think I don't think we should cut it. If anything, if we could give it some additional money, then then there would be. The ability to serve more people on more nights. Madam Chair, can we ask staff to clarify whether um, the increase would fall in line with HUD requirements if we fund them at a higher level? Because I do know the proposal says they'll open when the temperature reaches 15. And this would, the, the increase they were looking for in their request would have assumed 65 nights hitting 15 degrees, which is not an entirely reasonable assumption given predictions for winter temperatures. Right, but I do think that there's an in-between because their full ask is 20,000 and they would be open more nights. And so I, I think that's a very reasonable. We just, again, one of the things we're supposed to flag is anything. Exactly, that <laughs> and, that, and that's why I'm asking, so thank you. Right. I would re request that we raise that to overnight shelter to 15,000. Okay. Thank Second. You. That leaves us with one. Thousand float. Okay. Discussion? Let's call it. Um, I, I'm having a hard time. I, there's just not money there, though. But the, the, the psychiatric services, Turning Point, Jewish Family Services, all um, seem like solid, excellent programs. Um, Mental Health Board will know what we did or didn't do, right, when they make their allocations. Not to pass it all off on them, but I guess that's basically what we're doing. So we still have a thousand dollars left over. Um, I have two thousand. There's one. One. I would move that we uh, take the final one thousand uh, and move that to meals at home, because we we all know 
that organization will take every dollar we give them and get 11 Absolutely. pennies out of every single dime. I second that. Yeah, I agree. We've never given them what they asked for. Of course, we never give anybody what they asked for. Okay, so. Are you ready to entertain Steph, a Steph, can you read down the list? I have so many blank columns. Sure. Um, family focus for the Future Focus Youth Program at 15,000. Youth Opportunity United STEAM is for teens, zero. Open Studio Project Art in Action, $4,000. Evanston Scholars College Readiness, $15,000. Youth Job Center, Youth Employment Programs, $21,000. Moran Center Legal and Social Services, $20,000. Impact Behavioral Health Employment Services, $15,000. Shore Community Services, Vocational Training, $7,448. Um, zero for Jocelyn Turning Point and Jewish Family Services. North Shore Senior Center, Grandparents Raising Grandchildren, 9000 Meals at Home, Home Delivered Meals, 15000 Interfaith Action Emergency Overnight Shelter, 15000 YWCA Domestic Violence Services, 25000 Connections for the Homeless Supportive Housing, 15,000. Um, graffiti Removal, 20,000. Uh, summer Youth Employment Program, 10,000. And Certificate of Rehab and Record Sealing, 30,000. Totals out to $236,448. Okay, so could we have a motion? Second. I guess. Uh, sorry, we, we need a discussion. Yes. Yeah. I guess I just want to ask, with with YOU, what sort of message we're sending. Um, it, it feels like are we so, are we basically saying to them, you know, you've reached a point. You're you're so successful. You're such a nonprofit darling in this community that, you know, we believe in you that you can raise outside dollars and that they shouldn't waste their time coming here every year and asking for you know what they ask or are we just saying that this is just a really bad year and in really bad years really good nonprofits you know have to fend for themselves well there if you read if you read um, the basis for this funding it is startup funding I mean it's very clear that it's startup funding however we have always had um, are people that we want to fund all the time. And as you can see tonight, there are new people that we're not funding because we want to fund the people that we've had. For example, a good example of that is the, the art program. Mm -hmm. we, we can't detach ourselves from the art program. Um, so I think it's both, uh, it's, it's both. I, I, I would I would also add to that that in their budget, YOU made very clear that that what they were asking for, their total ask, was twenty two percent of the program budget. I know it's not apples to apples, but Meals at Home was asking for five percent of their budget. It was a, it was percentage wise a large ask, and they did also mention in their budgeting that they offer certain benefits to their employees that other nonprofits in town don't, um, which they stipulated in there was an attempt to keep the better employees. Nobody else in these organizations is able to offer that. And if they've been able to achieve that point, I'm okay with letting them do this on their own. Mm -hmm. Because again, Meals at Home is running, what, 95% volunteers? Interfaith action is is entirely volunteer. What is the mental health contribution to YOU? For the trauma informed services? Hmm? It, they fund a different program. It's not this specific program, but hang on. <laughs>
They're asking for 100000 for their trauma-informed services from the Model Health Board. And we're checking to see what they got this year. It was under that. When, when will mental health make their decision? October 12th. So they will have the information from this committee um, when making their allocations. Okay, I mean, they're asking hundred thousand. Seventy-eight thousand fifty-five. Seventy-eight thousand fifty-five dollars is what they got for their larger program um, in twenty seventeen, and they've requested a hundred thousand um, for twenty eighteen. I mean, they they're the epitome of a. Youth program I mean, they cannot get any better than YOU. Um, and so, I mean, it, you are a member of the committee. Do you feel strongly? No, I mean, I, I just wanted to raise it for discussion. I, I mean, I, I know that realistically they're not going to get anything close to the 25000 and I, I don't believe that we should be funding organizations under 10000 given how much work goes into the, the compliance. So, um, you know, from that perspective, I, I don't think it makes sense. Uh, but I, I, I just want, I, I just think it's worth discussing out loud so that, you know, they can know. But they do get support from the community through yeah. mental health, and I mean that's that's serious money. So it's not like they're being ignored. And I I think if they had, um, I, I I don't think they should be discouraged from applying. And they have fabulous programs, right? Right, absolutely. Yeah. And it's you know to your first point, it's a bad year, you know, and I think we've got, you know. The economy is doing better, but this is uh, somebody's making a choice that this isn't as much of a priority as it maybe ought to be. I would Not make us, that but somebody, somebody in Washington. I what? would like to make that point to everyone out here. I don't want anyone to be discouraged from applying next year just because this year was a bad year. This was a particularly tough year. Uh, a group like the Jewish Family Services, I really wanted to find a way to fund. They were so nimble yeah. and able to give cash. Yeah. Uh, I think they were hurt by being in Skokie and the fact that the village of Skokie only funds them at 4000 right. I would like Skokie to step up and fund them higher, but I wish we could also fund them. Yeah. It was also unclear with that organization how many Evanston residents actually received the, the help in Wood if we did fund them. But to Mike, the other thing that I, I mean, if you remember during the budget season, the one thing that I paid particular attention to were the organizations, and I mm -hmm. kept a little uh, scorecard on which organizations actually received more money mm -hmm. and for projected more money for 2018 versus 2017, and that sort of helped me feel just a little bit better about the decisions that I make. So I agree it's complicated. Um, it's tough decision, I think. Ms. Stanky always says it's like splitting babies, and we just do the best that we can. All right. Um, I'm going to call for a vote. All those in favor of supporting this allocation, say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Let's hope that this year um, Congress sees fit to actually send out the money in this decade. <laughs> All right. Well, and, I, yeah, and, and I just want to say thank you to everybody who's here, everybody who applied. Um, we live in a great city, but um, it's, it's your organizations that make it really unique and special. So um, I really believe that. So each and every one of you has, a, has an important role in that, and, um, and it wouldn't be the special place that it is without your work. So thank you all. Absolutely. And again, thank you very much for your presentations this year. This night, as you've heard, is exceptionally difficult for all of us. It made a huge difference to everyone up here to hear what you've been able to accomplish. It makes this agony worth it. It does. All right. Um, 
We're going to move on to the um, housing component. Um, I'm going to move, um, just to move us along, um, $100,000 for housing. You guys go. You don't want to sit and listen to this. Don't feel bad. And if, unless you want to, I can, I can tell you. For housing rehab and 66122 for rehab loan repayments. Second. So, uh, yeah, second. Any discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Code enforcement. Can I have a motion? Um, okay, so in my chart, I lowballed that. Ooh. So here's, okay, no, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but here's, here's why. I, I kind of felt like we're... Um, we're going to run into this like October, October, November buzzsaw on our budget, and I think if we can get a couple, even if they're small, of these capital projects knocked out, I would rather go that direction under the public facilities. How is that? Well, if we if how we took, that? I don't understand how code enforcement is a capital project. No, it's not. No, the, it's underneath not. public facilities, uh, the the field renovations, roof replacement. Oh, let me paving. let me make a let me make a suggestion. Let's skip to public facilities and let me make an argument um, for my two zeroing out of uh, Foster Field and Mason Park. Okay. Okay. Wait till you hear. Last me. night, last night, the city council, um, the city council voted those of us who voted for uh, the sale of the library parking lot. Four million dollars is going to be coming into our, our, in our hands, I'm not going to say into the general fund, into our hands very soon. And that money is going to be set aside for serious park work only, only. And the most urgent park work is going to be taken care of first. These are two very serious park things. So if we use that money for this, these two items, then we can use this CD money for other things. And probably the aldermen of the wards where Mason Park and Foster Field is, will probably come up with some other items in those two parks that will make a big difference. This is $4 million that's being set aside just for parks. Yeah, but we haven't for sure set it aside. Don't, don't <coughs> count. How can we be sure that it's yeah, going to Yeah, you can't count that chicken. Some of us <laughs> wouldn't have voted for it if it weren't. Well, all the money. I mean, it's it's gonna. Happen. Don't count your chickens, Anne. I beg your pardon. Oh don't, yeah. Don't okay. count your chickens. You didn't. You're not gonna get any because you didn't vote for it. <laughs> I, I know. Yeah. Yeah. And I have. A, I, I think I have that's a, how it works. Somebody's gonna watch on TV and think that. Well, so. thank you very much. No, no I'm right. joking. We're gonna give you some, but it's <laughs> it, it, the money is for parks. It this the city manager. No, oh, Anne, No, no. I know it's for parks, but I'm just saying. There, it's a long way before that. I mean, even if I had voted yes for that, I still think that there is, and I didn't, uh, I still think that four, four million is distant. You know, there are a lot of hoops that have to be jumped through by the, right, the, the proposal. The PD is not approved. It's, it's, it's it, long no, way. no. This, this money <clears throat> is going to be spe paid at closing. We have no idea when I know, but we don't know when they'll close. I mean, oh, it's, close it's all zoning contingent. Okay, the, we're not going to have the, this. Some of this information might. Not I, I, be see I, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. But this money, and and I, I so appreciate what you're me, doing. Excuse all the me. Meetings. Let me. Yes. You okay. are new on this committee. Let me tell you that the <laughs> money we allocated. Okay, this no, is very I know serious. What we do. The, no, no, you don't. The money we allocated a year ago. We do not know. We do not have. So any money we allocate for this roof could conceivably not be available to do this roof in a year from now, if we put it right in this line right now. See? That's a that's a and that's story. a legitimate point because I the, have the a money park gets that we allocated so seventy plus thousand dollars for. Right. And we, still we haven't started. even demolished the stuff that's there yet because we've not seen the money. 
point well taken. Yeah, okay. it's very well taken. And and it <laughs> and whenever it arrives, Sorry, it what is was your well point spent again? on targeted in target code enforcement. Because I heard that. <laughs> so the so we're hedging. So we're what? Hedge. Yeah, I mean and these are two. Mm -hmm. so. I mean, we can we cannot inspect our properties, mm -hmm. and 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 do some lighting in a in a baseball field, and we can you know, and we cannot pay the rehab people and not rehab houses that are falling down. I mean, these are all trade offs. Mm -hmm. This this money is so that community development block grants were created for decent housing. Believe it or not. Yeah. And, and, so let's and for those of us who change. live in neighborhoods where we yeah, really yeah. desperately need yes. that so code enforcement, this change. is not a minor yeah. thing. Okay, so let's do this. How about three hundred for the code enforcement? And I, I'd like to I'd like to actually give the maximum for the street resurfacing. Yeah. I'd like to give the maximum for the street resurfacing. I agree. Okay. What about alley paving? I've got alley paving at $448,899 because that made me come out zero. All right. I, and I've had 50000 for the did you loan do fund. A column? You did? Yeah, I just emailed okay. it to you. Oh, you did? Well, I, I can't get it. It's on this sheet, Anna. It's on the sheet. Oh, is it? Just a so, reminder, there are two alleys in that project. And so. Okay. I'm not that loud. Well, but we know, we know for the two alleys, we know that we can't, we can't leave all the numbers as we've right. been presented because yeah. it's a million dollars too much. Yeah. So let's be real. Okay, so how about 50000 for the Economic Development Loan Fund recapitalization? So, so would there be any downside to not going back up to 100? Like, would it mean, my understanding is it had dropped down to 5,000? What are you talking about? The loan okay. fund recap. I think there's a trend away from that funding. I know. There is. What are you talking about? Economic Development Committee. I have 50,000. I, I have 50, too. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I have 50 also, I should say. I mean, we have some things coming on board, especially... Um, Robin um, has some plans for doing some, as opposed to like 50-50 for facade. Mm -hmm. She's talked about doing 100% in certain yes. low-income mm -hmm. projects. So Is that coming out of this? Yeah. Instead of economic development. Yeah. That's it. That goes. That goes into economic development. Yeah. Uh, and I would I would move that we put the other 330k into the alley paving. That'll pay for one of the two alleys, roughly. Is that fair to say? I have four. Geez, I have a lot more than that in alley paving. Yeah, you had a uh, 448. 899. So um, there are two alleys, and one is 210,000. The one in the fifth ward, and the one in the ninth ward is 390,000. Yeah. So what is that? Even? That's so that's that equals the six hundred thousand. Is one longer than the other? Uh, the one in the ninth ward is yes. It is a series of how many blocks is it? You mean how many feet? Rows of feet. How many blocks? Okay, how many blocks? It's it should be one. It must be one. So it is a like weird shaped T oh, alley. It's, it's two blocks. Yeah. Which one okay. is worse? Yes, which one is worse? They're they're both bad. Good I mean, answer. Good they're answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good <laughs> answer. Drainage issues. Good so answer. It's, they it's both need. Typically, what staff has done, um, so I'm not hovering over Sarah. Typically, what staff has done is they have rotated the alley applications amongst the wards that have CDBG areas. And the fifth ward alley, which is the $210,000 alley, would, would be the next one on the list. So and it would be the worst off? 
<laughs> they're both bad. They're both, they're both bad. really bad. Can, can I just say and we the might ninth be asking ward the wrong be the question? One after that. Okay. Uh, which alley has the lowest income houses on the street that's being paved? That's what this fund is supposed to be going toward. You're not giving benefit. If you were giving benefit to a alley, that street has 48% middle to higher income, we're not doing our job. Let me just say that this is exactly why the city staff has to come and present their proposals. This is not what we should be doing the night of funding. So next year we're going to have a so night where the city staff is going to come and present their proposals. Can, can we request that? Huh? Yes. We didn't last year. We did it. Um, I can tell you the um, Fifth Ward Alley, that census block group is 61% low mod. It is one of our highest low mod block groups. The other is 47%. Keep in mind, we're an exception community, so 45.13% is an eligible census block group for us now. But the, the Fifth Ward Alley is a significantly higher percentage of low income. I move we fully fund the Fifth Ward Alley. I second it. And then, yeah, so and what is that? That's a 200. And that's uh, 210,000. What is the breakout on that? What do you mean the breakout? Right, so I don't have a problem saying, okay, we're going to fully fund that one. All right. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. what can we do about the second one? We can't the not resurfacing. fund any of it. Let's fund some of it. Yeah. We have any money in the capital fund to fund? I'm this? I'm sorry, I did not hear the first part of your question. We'll, we'll fund we'll fund the fifth ward alley. Okay. What about the second alley? How? Tell me how much that, that is. That alley is three hundred ninety thousand dollars, and there's no other money in the capital fund. Yeah. Fund it or don't fund it. Well, we. Uh, and is, are they doing we a could fifty fund fifty? One part we could fund, we could fund one part of it, couldn't we? Are they doing fifty? I'm sorry. Mm. Are they doing fifty-fifty on this or no? No. Mm -hmm. On the CDBG alleys, we do not do fifty-fifty. Mm -hmm. We deliberately look at alleys that are unlikely because of the income of the people associated with them to ever be successful through the fifty-fifty program. But usually, we only do one free alley a year. This is true. This or, is very strange. Or what I've done in the past, I've split two. And then had the neighbors chip in. Half but, of it. but the neighbors. Can't, but that's, that's a different the program, yeah. Peter. No, that's no, I get it. Program. I mean, but it neighbors was. Neighbors can't afford it. That's why. We're but that, that's a different program. It's just but the this way is very it. unusual that we do two CDLs. It, we we did one year um, do a portion of the CDBG alley funding that because of the way that we got funding allocated, and then we did special assessment, and we just lowered people's special assessment rates. But the complexity of trying to administer that was so severe mm -hmm. that we ask you not to put us in that position again. I can imagine. I can imagine. Right, so I, I would submit that we, um, notwithstanding the $4 million that might come in, I uh, used uh, 110 to fund that roof replacement and the balance into the to uh, code enforcement. Wait, could you say that, say that again? 110 for the roof replacement, so that will get done. And then the balance to back into the code enforcement. The other thirteen thousand. Second. So what about Foss? So then you're. That leaves Foster. We don't have fifty thirty three hundred fifty thousand. You get the money from the four million. Right. Okay. Code enforcement. Well, maybe. So Next year. Oh. Okay. Well, if we're going to if we're going to sell the parking lot, then maybe. So. Sarah, I'm going to ask a silly question. It's, and I may not ask this correctly, so I'm going to try anyway. So we're going to, at some point during the next six months, say that we may get our money from the sale of the library. Just for example, six months. In the year. In a, within the year. And this budget, I realize it has to be submitted to HUD for, what's our deadline again? That's an inconvenient question because we don't have one. What happens now is we do our grant, uh, I mean, we do our allocations on estimate, we do our action plan, right. we go through our public comment period, and then we sit and wait. The reason we have to do this 
though, and do the public comment period, is otherwise we can't start charging things as of the first of the year, even though we may not get our grant amount till much later. So in other words, because we do this process before the end of the year, that allows us to, even when we submit our action plan in July, to say we can put money back, which is why we can fund all those public services going back to January. I know it sounds crazy, but this is how this thing works. Right. Um, so we then wait on submitting the plan till we get our grant amount, which this year we got in, we got on June 14th, we submitted our, we, we made our adjustments on July 10th and we submitted on the 11th or 12th and we're still waiting. We've been officially approved by our field office, but, but by some machinations like, they haven't done anything. That officially approved by our field office when? Um, well, we just talked to Jovita. I mean, but they can't they can't release the funds yet. So, so I guess but my, when did I uh, just so people Oh, just just yeah. recently. I mean, really in the last few days. Oh yeah, we've looked at it. It's approved, but we're just waiting. So the point that I wanted to make then, we can uh, this past July, we were able to make an amendment to our spend based on the fact that we received an additional dollars than right. we originally budgeted. Right. So for this, I'm assuming that we're not going to know until next year, July, which it would make sense that we will know that, I know this sounds crazy, that we would have sold the library. So my question is, I, so for example, if we leave in money in the Mason Park Fieldhouse, mm -hmm. and we know that the library is gonna sell before that, when those dollars come in, will we be able to reallocate those dollars to something else? Does that yes. make sense? Yes, okay. and one of the things is this. If we reallocate within the same category, we can do whatever we want. Okay, so I'm not going crazy. <laughs> um, we'll find another roof. We'll find another roof. And so if... if we have some, we have no, some but, but only for those requests that have already been made, right? Right, yeah. well, right. yeah. I mean, I think it would be difficult for us to move to something that hadn't been requested because we haven't done that any other time. Um, but um, we can move things within our categories. Right. Uh, you know, among the. You could um, put it on an alley table. Exactly. We could. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we also, if we move things between these goals or these categories, by less than 20%, we can even move between them to some extent. We tried to write our, um, what triggers a substantial amendment as liberally as possible. No, I mean, that's why we wrote it so liberally. We said it's not, it's not the individual items, we use that, but it's the, the, within the categories that, it, you know, HUD has never actually looked at exactly how we do this, so hopefully it will hold up. I mean, they don't know how they're, going to handle this either because this is all based on the change to grant-based accounting. It's making all of our lives miserable. Let's not attract their attention. Well, that's true. We don't yes. want to. But we, in the action plan, they just see chunks of money for public facilities and public services. We don't give them all the detail anymore. They don't want it. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's like the IRS. You don't want to attract their attention. That's right. Exactly. All right. Okay. So, so. let's let's um, let's take it from, uh, not the top, because we have that. Let's take it from, um, we're happy with housing, right? Nobody, nobody's we're balanced. Code enforcement, we've got 300,000, right? 313,899. You added 13? That was where we were told to move the rest of the, mm -hmm. right. Okay. Yeah. Public, yeah. Read public facilities. Um, public facilities is um, nothing for foster field athletic renovations, 110,000 for Mason Park um, field house roof replacement, 210,000 for alley paving, and 290,000 for street resurfacing. Okay. Okay. Yep. I thought we were going to not give any money for uh, Mason Park. That we're going to get this from the four million dollars. We, yeah. we, we, we added it, it back in with this, this yeah. with the sense that if the city, if the the parking lot is sold, then we could reallocate this money to alleys. To alleys. 
or, or to something else in that to alleys to that alley yeah, to, to the ninth ward alley yeah. you've got to do it right. so it's just a place you have to make right a now. commitment to that yeah but as it is right now there's not enough additional money in the capital budget to cover the difference between what we can give them and what it would cost to do the alley and we're at zero right yeah. right yeah. 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 yeah we're balanced so i'll entertain a motion to move the entire allocation i so move second, second. all those in favor Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. I think so. One last thing. We do write into the action plan, because we're doing this on estimate, if we get more money, mm -hmm. how we will, what, if we have any priorities to consider, and it, it doesn't have to be super specific, but we want to write something in there. Um, what we historically have said is that we do not just do a percentage reduction or increase because that's not the best way to do it the committee will meet again mm -hmm. but if there are any specific things you want us to note Sally, okay I, I believe we really have an obligation to put it into the Sally. yeah um, anything you want to note for public services or anything if no. there is well, I mean if, if the extra money is like fifty thousand no, dollars then you know we'll, we'll to go to the regroup and but well, we then we'll, right. we well, we, in any event, but we right. Could, we, then we could revisit. We could revisit, revisit the YRU steam project, possibly. The alley. I mean, the alley no, no, is. No, no. I'm saying if no, we get a services. small amount of money, it's not going to cover the alley. If we get oh. another 50k, right. that's not going to no. get us anywhere. But it would help one of the nonprofits. And. Um, anytime we get additional money, some of it will be able to go to that. But again, it'll be that 15%. It's yeah, 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 I know yeah, it's yeah, that yeah, yeah. nightmare. So it's a skill amount that will go to public service. Just a minuscule amount. Well, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, um, we have one item we have to deal with, and that is the meeting in October. Uh, no, in November. November. Um, second meet. Second our meet. November meeting is the meeting that we have the public comment on the draft action plan, and it is currently scheduled for the 21st, because it's the third Tuesday, but that puts it the week of Thanksgiving, which is generally not a week that people want to be around for public meetings. Um, <coughs> last year, we moved it to the second um, Tuesday of the month, which would be the 14th? 14th. So um, we wanted to check if that was the committee's Oops. wish. I can't do it. Okay. Alderman yeah. Rainey's taking can. a trip with me. Um, uh, that Robin, sounds salacious. Robin is too. Yeah. We can leave it on the 21st. I don't have a problem. We don't have a problem with that. We just wanted is to bring November it up for the 21st. The yes, Tuesday. November. It's before mm -hmm. Thanksgiving. Yeah. yeah. I'll be missing that one. Yeah, 21st. I mean, I've yeah, got it on my fine. calendar. That's fine. If everybody's here, last year people wanted it moved, so I just wanted to check. Okay. C -D -D. Were you Bring going turkey. someplace? No. I'm here. Okay. What time? I am leaving. 7 p.m. Actually, we love it because it gives us a little more time to do the action yeah. plan. <laughs> it's not. Yes. Pardon? 7 p.m.? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, thank you to staff and thank yes. you to the group. And you know thank what? You. You're lucky, because the first couple of years I was on this committee, the idea of getting out of here at 8 o'clock wasn't even remotely well, we in your imagination. So. Hours and hours and hours. We've got it down to a science. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's good. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's a good collaborative effort, and, um, and people are willing to compromise, and that's huge. So I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Good work. Oh, you're both going? Yeah. And you're taking Don, not me? You're going to take Don? Yes, so move. <laughs> Thanks for reminding us. We just wanted to stay. We're used to, we're used to staying. 